guided meditation for love and healing relationships. In this guided meditation, you will gain a new perspective on the relationships in your life. Your spirit guide will help you to understand the purpose of your past relationships so that you can let go of the past and experience love and healing. You will also learn how to improve your current relationships and attract healthy relationships in the future that support your personal growth. Let's start by closing our eyes and taking a deep breath in through the nose. Now slowly let it out. Take another deep breath and slowly let it out. Notice the muscles of your face and neck. Allow these muscles to soften and relax. Notice the muscles of your shoulders and arms. Let go of any tension and allow your shoulders to relax and droop downward. You may feel your hands growing warm and tingly with the increased flow of energy. Breathe down deeper into your body. Feel your legs growing heavy as you ground yourself with the energy of the earth. Now I'd like you to imagine that you are traveling back into the past to a time before your current life on earth. You are a highly aware and intelligent soul preparing for your upcoming life on earth. Imagine that you are in a great hall, a huge room with many round tables at which people are seated in small groups. There are hundreds of people in this hall. Most of the people are occupied in animated discussions with the other people in their group. There's a feeling of excitement and anticipation in the air. As the scene comes into focus, you see that you are seated at a table with several other souls. You are leading the discussion at your table. You are telling the other members of the group about your plans for your upcoming life on Earth, and you are describing to them the roles that you need each of them to play in your life in order to help you with your soul's growth. You may recognize some of the people at your table. They are people whom you have known during your current lifetime. but others may be unfamiliar to you. These are the people whom you will meet later in your life. Now I'd like you to focus on one person in your group. This person may be a dear friend or a family member who has played a supportive role in your life. Notice where this person is seated. Are they directly in front of you? Or are they seated to your left or your right? 
imagine that you are telling this person what they will be doing for you in your upcoming life. Notice how you feel as you share with this person what you know about your future relationship with them. Take some time now to have this conversation. As you finish talking, you notice that there is someone standing in your peripheral vision. As you turn to look at this person, you recognize them as your spirit guide. Your spirit guide is smiling gently as he or she approaches you. What does your spirit guide look like? Feel the warm, loving energy of your spirit guide and notice how relaxed and joyful you feel as your heart opens in the presence of this teacher. As you gaze into the eyes of your spirit guide, you feel as if time has stopped. You look around the great hall at all the people it feels like you and your teacher are standing outside of the scene. Now you are in direct telepathic communication with your spirit guide, who invites you to think about a past relationship in your life. Maybe it's a relationship that you never fully understood, one in which you were hurt or that ended without closure. Look around the great hall until you see the person you are thinking about. Is it someone at your own table or someone at another table? Are they to your left or your right in your visual field? How far away are they? Your spirit guide invites you to ask any questions that you have about the purpose of this relationship. Take some time to ask your questions and listen for the answers. With the help of your spirit guide, you are beginning to understand how your relationships help you with your soul's development. These relationships were planned in advance, and both parties agreed to them. 
Everything was planned with the best intentions for each person's growth. Even if you have to leave a relationship, no one is really left alone because every soul has a spirit guide, along with other members of their soul group who love them. Of course, some people may choose to ignore those who are trying to love them. That's their choice. You also have a choice. You can choose to accept the love and healing that is offered to you from the spirit world. Your spirit guide invites you to turn your attention to healing a current relationship. Look around you and choose one person to focus on. Where is this person located in the Great Hall? If this person is not already sitting at your table, invite them to come sit by you. Look closely at this person and feel the energy of their soul. How do you feel in the presence of their soul? Feel the love that the two of you have for each other on the soul level. Consider how both of you are seeking to develop yourselves as separate souls, even as you are growing together in love through your relationship. Take some time now to talk with this soul. Tell them how you would like to improve the relationship so that you can both learn and grow through your love for each other. Then listen for their reply. Feel the love and healing that passes between you and the other soul. Feel the gratitude in your heart and thank them for communicating with you. Now your spirit guide invites you to think about a relationship that you would like to attract in the future. It could be a friend, partner, child, teacher, co-worker, or any other type of relationship. Or if you prefer, you can use this time for healing a current relationship. Look around the Great Hall and locate the person you wish to communicate with. Invite them to sit at your table. On the soul level, you are already friends 
you have come together to learn from each other and expand your ability to love. How do you feel in the presence of this soul? How you feel is more important than how this person looks. The way that you feel will help you to recognize them when you meet them. If you already know this person, feeling the energy of their soul will help you to understand them better. Take some time now to talk with this soul, sharing with them your hopes and dreams for the relationship. Then listen for their answer. Thank this soul for communicating with you and for sharing their love and energy. Now your spirit guide invites you to look around the great hall and ask yourself how you feel about the seating arrangement. Is there anything that you would like to change? For example, if you are in the process of letting go of a past relationship, you may want to move that person to a table further away from you where they can be with other people. Also consider if you need to rearrange the seating at your own table. The way that you arrange the seating is symbolic of the way that your mind organizes your relationships. You can experiment with changing the seating while observing how the changes make you feel. Only change the seating if it feels good and right to you. Take some time now to ask your spirit guide any remaining questions that you have regarding the relationships in your life.
Now it's time to say goodbye to your spirit guide. Feel the love and gratitude that wells up in your heart for this wonderful teacher who has taught you so much. You know that your spirit guide loves you unconditionally and is always watching over you. You feel happy and peaceful as you accept the love and healing that is taking place in your heart. Allow the vision of the Great Hall to gently fade away as you begin to come back from the meditation. Now bring your awareness back to the room you are sitting in. Take a deep breath and slowly let it out. Gently open your eyes, stretch, and come back to the present moment.